Hi folks, Ben here and today we are going to talk about creating barcodes in Google Sheets. Now barcodes are a visual representation of data in a format that's easily read by machines. And typically it's thick and thin lines with varying width gaps between them. And they were invented in 1952 by Norman Woodland and Bernard Silver. And they've gone from that humble origin to being ubiquitous today. Think of the last time you went to the grocery store, every item you scanned has a barcode on the back that beeps as it's read by the machine and that saves having to input that data manually. So literally every day, billions upon billions of transactions are happening thanks to the humble barcode. So talk about impact. So it's very, very simple in Google Sheets. There are two steps. We'll look at those two steps today. I'll show you how easy it is. So let's dive in. Okay, so we're going to look at three different barcodes, the code 39, the code 128, and the EAN 13, because these are the barcodes you can create natively and easily in Google Sheets. I'm gonna start with code 39, which is typically used by industries for labeling parts and things like that. And the way barcodes work in Google Sheets is we take some sort of information that we want to code as a barcode, like these ID numbers, and then we take that piece of information in that cell and we simply apply a new font format to it. So at the moment, the font I'm using that's been applied to these ones is simply the default Arial, just the, the standard font. Uh, there's lots of others you can see available. And what we need to go and do is add the barcode fonts. So what we'll do is we'll come up to font, we'll go to more fonts, and we'll type in Libre, so L-I-B-R-E, barcode. And there you see all the different barcode fonts. I had one selected actually already. So we'll click, 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 just add all of these barcodes. We'll click them all to make them blue. We'll say, okay. And that now adds them down here in my, you can see them all actually in yellow, the new ones, but I now have these barcode fonts available to me. So what we'll do is we'll actually copy the, these ID numbers just so I have, I can see what the original was, but all we're gonna be doing is just applying a font now to this group here. So we'll highlight them all and we'll go and select. So scroll down my fonts and I'm gonna choose the barcode 39. Let's make it bigger because it's a little difficult to see. And there we go. It's now translated this ID code into a barcode format that can be read by a barcode reader. We can also add text. If we go to barcode 39, let's see, text here. And again, we'll make this one bigger, drag it out. We'll just make these center lined and move them up a little in the sheet, but you can see that it adds the actual number underneath. You can see that the 53547, 53547-10E, that's now captured in the barcode with the text underneath. Now you notice there were two others here, the extended and extended text, and these are used to support additional characters. So the barcode 39 and 39 text support the usual zero to nine, A to Z, and then these extend ones will allow you to encode additional characters like the at symbol, for example. So that's barcode 39. Let's look at 128. Again, I'll copy my ID numbers. We'll come in here and we'll choose, it's there actually 128, but it also could be down here. Barcode 128, let's make them bigger again. And there we go. I've now captured that information as the barcode there. Now the 128 does not have a text option available, at least not in Google Sheets. So we're, stick, we're stuck with this one. Now EAN is the European article number bar type of barcode, which is commonly used in retail. And it's a little bit more nuanced. There's some specific variations within this barcode type. So 
your ID number has to conform to a certain pattern to be classified as one of these types of barcodes. And actually, the EAN13 is just the very first one. We have an EAN8, some UPC ones, and some additional digits that we can add as well. So one easy or one useful formula is the len formula, the length of a string, because I might want to check the length of my ID to make sure that it matches the rules of the pattern. So this one requires 13 digits, the EAN13. I have 13 characters in my ID number. But we'll copy the IDs now over to here. Let's make this a little bigger because these are going to be quite big. And we'll format all of these as the EAN13, which is this one here with the text. And you can see they're very tiny. Widen it out and perhaps even go bigger than that. And there we go. And they're the barcodes that you may be familiar with if you've seen these in uh, retail stores. And that's it. That's still, as you can see, it's the number up here that the sheet has, but the font is what turns it into this barcode. So super easy. That's how you create barcodes in Google Sheets. So two steps, download the fonts, the Libra barcode fonts, grab them all, and then just simply apply them. Use the formatting here to just highlight text and, and apply the font type to your, to your cells that you want to format as barcodes. All right, thanks for watching folks. If you enjoyed that video, then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss future updates. And if you're really into these sorts of codes, these are useful for your work, then do check out my other video on QR codes as well. They're very easy as well to create in Google Sheets. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.